I've been using these burst whitening strips. There are seven days in one pack. I'm halfway through the second pack and I think I'm seeing a difference. I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to use them. And then when I finish the second pack, I'll do a before and after so you can see if it did anything. What I really like about them is that they are a coconut flavor, so they're not disgusting. They're just kind of gross in the fact that it's like a gel on your teeth and the residue doesn't come off. And I've done some other brands before and I've never had this happen, but you stick it on and after 10 to 15 minutes, you take them off and it's like, all the gel is like still adhered to your teeth and you have to brush it off. Well, I don't love that about it, but um, the flavor and the scent of the coconut's really great. So basically you open it up and this is what you've got on your strip. So this is for the top and this is for the bottom. So you brush and floss and make sure there's no gunk that's gonna get in the way of the whitening gel but you don't wanna brush immediately before because the fluoride in your toothpaste will prevent the gel from penetrating and like really whitening the teeth. So basically, I usually brush and floss right after dinner and then a couple hours later, I'll do this and then I'll brush it off after to get the, like, the gel off. I usually just kinda of like wipe it dry with my fingers and then like breathe a bit. <sighs> Here is the top strip. And you just kinda do that. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Okay, it's done and I'm gonna show you the kind of gross part, so click away if you don't like this. And see, can you see, like, the gel that just, like, stays on there, ugh. Ugh, see? It's only 6% hydrogen peroxide, which means it doesn't make your teeth sensitive, which I've suffered from that from different brands in the past, and it also doesn't cause any kind of damage or ulcers or pain in your gums, which if the peroxide is too high, it can cause that. I've read up to 10% is safe, so 6% is super safe for your enamel and all that. All right, I finished the second set and uh, I'm, I'm happy. I guess it's not as dramatic of a whitening as I was hoping, especially after two packs. I thought they would be like glow in the dark white, but uh, I did have some like staining between the teeth starting and that knocked it out like in the first or second strip on that first pack knocked out like the major stuff. And then the rest was like a very mild whitening. But again, the taste is nice and they stick to your teeth nice as long as you make them dry and they're really quick, just 10 to 15 minutes on your teeth and then you're done. There was no sensitivity, no damage to my gums. I'd say they're worth a try. 